what a week. All right, we're going to get into it here. These are channeled angelic messages along with angel oracle cards. I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls, angelsouls444.com if you want to see what I offer and all the things. Okay, so let's get into it here. We're starting out with a boring card, or at least, okay, first of all, I should explain my hair is very flat because it has been in a ponytail all day. I should have allowed it to be in that ponytail, but here we are, and it's too late. Okay. <laughs> Hi. All right, meditation. So this is asking you this week, you've probably already gotten a little bit of a taste of this, to stop, decompress before you respond to anybody, all right, before you say anything. Because the darkness is trying it and it is working through people. We've been talking about this for quite some time. Now, meditation also has to do with reconnecting to spirit. So if you don't ever take a moment to breathe out, to let go of the more shallow energy, right? To reconnect into your heart space and just reset your nervous system. Heck, you can see it that way if you want. If you don't allow yourself that time you're going to start, yeah, they're saying the troubles are going to keep compounding because the energy is going to get thicker and thicker around you. And then it's going to be really hard to do anything that you really want to do. So then we have trust. When we have meditation and trust together, this is telling me that this is a chance for you to be nice and open to the other side, to your guardian angel. So start there. A lot of people are always saying, you know, oh, I can't hear my angels. I can't, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. If you allow yourself to calm down <laughs> for a minute to be able to listen. Now, those downloads that you are getting, those messages that are coming through, you can trust those unless you are channeling darkness, um, which some of you allow that in. Now, I did have somebody ask me, you know, how do you protect your energy? By not allowing, when you feel like your energy is being siphoned from somebody, think about someone who's trying to gaslight you, someone who's just trying to make your life difficult, you know, they're playing the victim, like they do all these things to you and then they're playing the victim. Noticing that, educating yourself enough that you know what that looks like, right? We call that narcissism, yes, amongst other things. So when you know what you're looking for and you start to sense what that feels like when it's popping up, you know to, you're not being in denial, you're just shutting down that energy and not allowing it to seep out of you, right? And simplistically put, I suppose. Because there's something else that's coming up here and I'll, I'll get to that here in a moment. But protecting your energy field, you know I always talk about Archangel Michael protecting us, but you have to do more than that. Because if you just put a protective layer around bad energy, now you're just trapped with the bad energy. So make sure you're doing a clearing and then shielding yourself and you have to make conscientious steps to release the things that bother you. Now, I know that sounds so simplistic and I don't mean it to be simplistic. What I mean by that is if you constantly have somebody who's always just trying to diminish you, but you keep hanging out with them, that's something that you need to take action on to not be around that type of person. Or let's say you're in a work situation or a love partnership situation and that person is, you know, or people are not respecting you, telling you that you need to improve and blah, blah, blah. I'm not talking about constructive criticism. I'm not talking about feedback that's helpful. I'm ta I don't even like that word or that phrase, constructive criticism. It's really just an, a way for people to criticize one another, but whatever, that's a whole other video. So. When you feel that someone's just trying to get at you and get under your skin, shutting off your energy, clearing that away, and then surrounding yourself with this light. Michael's light is blue, but I often feel the most protected with that blue light, of course. But really when I have this white and gold light around me, that's where I feel like I am centered, I'm connected, you know, nothing's going to take my energy. Because here's the thing. The more light you carry, it is, but uh, there's a potential, let's say, that you could be a little bit more of a target. Now, that again is not to make you out to be too precious for life, too precious for anything. You know, it's not that. But if you are somebody who is a carrier of light, you know what I'm talking about. You have the stories that nobody believes. 
You're the ones who are usually the, the truth speakers and nobody believes you. That's how that feels, right? Like it just, you're speaking into the void or worse, people are coming at you and saying, you know, you're crazy, that sort of thing. So the more you have that, the more you need to make an effort to protect your energy field. I've talked about hematite. I've talked about this plenty of times in videos. So here's what it's leading to. We have this emerging card. Now, what this is speaking to would be a new beginning, something coming through that is divinely guided if you tune in and you trust the messages that are coming through. It may not be what you think. There can also be messages coming, not just through meditation, but through meditative actions. So that's why I always say, like, if you do something that's repetitive and it's a hobby, like, I don't know, knitting or, um, I don't know, the diamond art that people are really into these days, anything like that, if it's in a meditative, it gets you into a meditative state, messages can come through, let them land. You'll get signs and signals as well. And usually it's just, I know I have to be here because of the people involved, or I know I need to be here because I'm going to learn something. There have been plenty of situations that I've gone into. And I'm like, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> like, why, why am I here? Um, but I know it's because I'm supposed to have a soul contract with somebody in that situation. Or there's something, like I said, something very big and important to learn. Okay. Now we have children. Okay, I believe we had this last week as well. This time around, it feels like, one, we're going to get a lot of information around children and what children have been going through that will be a part of this. This is talking about the inner child. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak about, huh, this is going to sound so out of the realm of this reading, but Justin Bieber, and I'm being completely serious when I say, you need to send up some love to him. I'm talking from an intuitive standpoint. I'm talking from an angelic standpoint. He is of the light. Yes, he is just because he's famous and whatever, like he's of the light and the dark has tried to chip away at him. Weirdly, he's one of the lucky ones. I know that sounds so awful to say, and I don't mean it in a terrible way, but he still has a lot of his light left and can bring it back. So I am bringing that up with children because this happened to him when he was basically a child and that inner child wounding, it's going to be coming up for a lot of you as well, but he's an example of, hmm, he's still trying to hang on quite a bit um, to that inner child and try, he's kind of like stuck where the things began, where everything began, like the rough stuff began. He's stuck in that moment in time. Now, keep in mind, I do not dive into other people's souls. That's not what's happening right here. That's not what's happening. What's happening is I almost feel like his soul is like crying out for help. And so a lot of us who are intuitives, we can feel that. We can hear it. We can maybe even see an energy form coming from him. Okay. Now, if some of you, I know everybody's always trying to outdo one another with the spiritual stuff. Well, I see it like this. And I say, as soon as you start talking like that, you just expose yourself. You're not spiritual. You're one of the dark ones because someone who's actually wise and spiritual, they don't, they don't need to prove it to anybody. They just are. It just is. Nor are they trying to advertise that they have this, you know, big energy for people to siphon off of, you know, like we'll do our work will show up. I show up here once a week. I do the little daily videos as well. And then I disappear. And sometimes I need to disappear for a little bit longer than other times, right? Just to recharge. So we're not out there trying to like show off. It's just not done. It's just not done. So put some love out there for yourselves. And Justin Bieber is somebody I... Again, I know that might be weird to some of you. I wouldn't sit here and say that I was like, I mean, I like his music, I guess. But like, I was not somebody who would go and have that blasting on my radio all the time either. You know, like I just, I tend to have a different taste in music, but I'm talking about him as a soul. This being an example, he's a high profile person. Send up that love. 
I'm setting up that love for him. Books, you connect to your life purpose through involvement with books. This could be another thing that's very meditative, or maybe you're reading something that's very inspiring. There's a lot of spiritual reconnecting here and getting in touch with that inner child that we talk about all the time. Now, a lot of times people will be like, well, I don't want to sit here and read some self-help book about how to get in touch with my inner child, blah, blah, blah. We've done that, right? This isn't that. This is looking at everybody from that childlike standpoint. So you don't, I'm using the example of Justin Bieber. You don't look at Justin Bieber and just see, you know, a huge celebrity. You look at him and see him as somebody who's human, who is a very bright human, who got spent. And I'm going to be careful with some of the other words that I'm using here, but... This also, yeah, they're saying this points to education and learning and opening your perspective. Some of you might have gotten perked up and said, oh, I'm writing a book. I'm going to be a famous author. No, you're not. No, you're not. I said what I said. I worked in book publishing. Do you know how few people get through to actually be a famous author? Like you have a better chance, I think, of maybe winning the lottery. <laughs> like it's not going to happen. I mean, you can sit there, you can write your book, you can force it onto the internet unedited and you know let people do what they will with it sure that's always it, it cracks me up because I've had people come to me for readings personal readings and they'll be like I've just always wanted to write a book and I'm like you know and I was always encouraging I'm like hey follow your dreams do what you want and then people would send me these like these books that was it may as well have been made out of I'm so sorry I'm gonna sound so awful saying this but I'm just gonna be real with you you could tell that they just kind of slapped it together they weren't interested there is a little gnat nah, in my face is that a sign yes it is something doesn't like what I'm saying also I had bananas in my <laughs> my kitchen <laughs> they might have got in for that um anyway if he don't leave me alone come at me bro come at me bro oh he's like sure I will oh kid kid be gone what the heck are we talking about hi thanks for sticking in there with me what the heck are we talking about um, oh, about books. So um, people, they would just kind of quickly throw these things together. It was sort of cheaply done. And then they'll throw it out there. And then they're like, oh, I expected everybody would want to read my very poorly written slapped together life story because I'm the most interesting person there is. Okay. Okay. Books can be incredibly powerful if you are, in fact, a professional writer then you know the craft of storytelling. You know the psychology of words. You know the art of writing. And you know how to present that. You know how then how to bounce that off of a current world and, and what they're willing to read and pay attention to. And because of that, when it is a well-done book, no matter what the topic is, you'll feel this energy coming off of it. You will feel the author. I almost feel like I can feel other people reacting to it. I can feel other readers. <laughs> of course, I'm also, I do this, right? So like, you know, maybe there's a little of that going in there. But you could have a magical experience through reading. So I know that sounds simplistic, but the best things in life are just that, simplistic. So this is your chance to reconnect with that, rediscover that, you need to do some work because people are going to be coming at you. Okay. They're going to be coming at you this week. I've already experienced it. <laughs> like I'm getting this up a little bit later than usual. This is, oh man, my hair is really flat on my head. Whatever. Um, I'm getting this up on a Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday, I ain't never seen the likes of it. People coming at me and doing really stupid things, like obviously stupid things. And then say, no, I'm not. It's your fault. You're making my life hard. <laughs> I can't. So good luck. Um, <laughs> no, no. Just make sure you're not getting too wound up in the surface level of things because that will drag you down and you'll lose yourself. And right now is the time for you to not experience more wounding. But to allow yourself a little bit of a break here so that something new can be born. That's the whole point. Something new wants to come about. All right. Angelsouls444.com. If you want a personal reading with me, I always like to give updates on those. So next few days, I should be running ahead of schedule. This is how this works, though. People come in. I, I do them myself, so I catch up on them. 
And then if you happen to get in right as I'm done with that, then yeah, you can have your reading probably ahead of time. But when people wait even a couple of hours, I had somebody wait 20 minutes one time around this time of year and they were mad because they weren't going to be able to get their reading within a couple of days. I don't know the pattern. All I know is around this time of year, I tend to have more readings come in. I don't know why exactly. I mean, have I put energy into figuring it out? No, I really haven't. Live readings, eh, maybe I've got like one or two spots that maybe I could fit somebody in this week. For those, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Uh, one last thing, I guess, do I announce this? I don't know. I bought a box of candy and just as an experiment, I'm going to just make an ASMR video eating candy because why not? could be amazing or nobody will watch it maybe I don't know it's gonna be an adventure we'll leave it there <laughs> I'm sending you all so much love and take care <laughs>